it's time for everybody to just get a grip, okay? Get a grip. Do not spend your money on these stupid designer items. I've done it. Believe me, they're not worth it. Let's jump in. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back. Yes, get a grip. We all have to get a grip and not spend our money on these stupid designer items. Okay, they're not worth your money. Before we jump into that, I want to say a big hello to Shona D. Hi Shona. And the fragrance of today is Angel Share. Oh, I just love this. By Killian. Any excuse to wear this beauty. She's warm, spicy, woody, vanilla, sweet powdery, she's got tonka bean, cinnamon, she's got cognac at the top and she has sandalwood. Oh, I just love it. Katie loves this one as well. But yeah, you can really smell the cinnamon and the tonka bean in here. Just a delicious, delicious is all I can say, winter fragrance, particularly coming up to Christmas. So let's jump in very, very quickly. We have to get a grip. We have to just literally kind of go, what the hell are we thinking up here? What are we spending our spandoolies on? Well, you're not gonna spend them on this on my watch. Number one, our ridiculously tacky. Yes, it's gonna be a bit tough if you have any of these. Please don't take offense. I have also bought these items and learned from my oh, wicked ways and my mistakes. But tacky designer logo t-shirts. I cannot stand them, whether they be Gucci, Balenciaga, and they've got a big, you're walking advertisement for these stores. You're giving them all the free marketing and free advertising. And you know what we're doing as well? We're paying them for the luxury of it. Here you go. Here's 500 euro. Let me advertise for you, please. Please. That's what we're doing. Material in the t-shirts is no better than your material in Zara. It's cotton. It might have a little bit of whatever else, polyester, spandex. Always look at the material on your t-shirts and what they're made of so that you can see that you can get them for one fifth of the price online somewhere else. Just look up luxury t-shirts or well-made of whatever materials you like. That's what you should be looking for. Do not spend your money on logoed t-shirts. And my other pet peeve are logo branded baseball caps. I cannot stand them. Whether they're Gucci or again, Balenciaga, the big, they're just, they just scream. I don't know, I'm a rapper or I'm trying to wanna be newbie money kind of person or I've just won the lottery or just haven't got a clue about fashion. Uh -huh. And I'm on one today. Sometimes I like the odd little Chanel. They can be a little bit more minimalist, you know, a little bit more streamlined, but no, overall a logoed baseball cap, that big Gucci logo everywhere is just an absolute no, no. The second item I'm going to talk about, I'm sticking with logos. We're gonna talk about designer, fashion furniture. Now, there's a big difference between designer furniture, which is whether it be Swiss made or that beautiful architecture that they make is just stunning by an actual furniture company, huge difference to that made by the likes of Gucci and all the rest. And it is just strewn in logos. They have the chairs that have the Gucci monogram all over them. They have like the couches, the longer couches, and it's just tacky. It's disgusting. It screams, I have money, but I don't have taste. And you know, as they say, money can't buy class. And I just think it's not timeless. It's not classy. It's not gonna last and it just looks awful. It's bad. Absolutely awful. You walk in, you're gonna get a headache looking at this day in, day out. Don't do it for your health. Warning, stay away. Bad for your health. The next one. This one now is a bit crazy. I mean, people are, they're losing their minds over this next one. They're all over TikTok. They're all over Instagram. There's girls just literally losing their mind. Are you out of your mind to pay on the resale market nearly $4,000 for the next item? It's very specific. And yes, I'm talking about CC Chanel, yes, rubber rain boots. Oh, hell no. Hello, what's wrong with everybody? No, don't do it to go out and kick in the muck or go to some festival and probably lose a welly anyway. You know, there's plenty of other designer brands that are a couple of hundred for your beautiful, your beautiful rubber boots that that's all you need to pay. 200, yeah, for a nice pair. There's other designers out there. Then paying, as I said, on the resale part market, nearly four grand for these CC rain boots. Like, oh my God. Stop it. Don't do it. I mean, not unless you've got money flying out of your ears and every other place, which I don't know anybody who does these days, or not a lot of people, I 
would not be putting my money into those rubber boots. It's a no from me. Number four, moving on, is... Gosh, let's stick with the rain. We get lots of rain here in Ireland, you know? And she might as well go out and just lash out $400 on a designer umbrella. Now, when you go out in the rain and the wind is there and you're just like, whoosh, say it's Burberry, is inside out, all over the place, the spokes are all broken on it, you do not need to spend $400. Or you go out and you just forget it and you leave it somewhere. Don't do it. You can get a nice umbrella of good quality for, again, one fifth of the price. It's unnecessary. There is no reason to do this. Only madness and marketing and advertising and we are the little puppets on a string. <laughs> Number six, do not do it, do not do it, do not do it. Everybody's going mad on social media for a luxury robe. Now yes, I believe in comfort, I believe in convenience, you know I do. But I do not believe in paying, I think they must be up on two grand, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll have to look up the price, but they're bloody expensive for a designer robe, whether it is their beautiful Versace that everyone is wearing from Jennifer Lopez Pez to the Kardashians, you know, maybe your friend next door. Yes, the Versace robe is beautiful, but it's still going to get makeup on it and fake tan and you throw it in the washing machine and it might run with something else. And at the end of the day, again, you can get plush, beautiful quality luxury robes online for one fifth, one tenth of the price. Do not do it. As I said, yes, there is a, a case to be fought in that they are amazingly comfortable, amazingly, you know, warm and cozy. And yes, you wear it around your house, but do you need to pay? up on two grand to greet the UPS guy. No, I don't think so. I don't think that is necessary. He might get the wrong idea. You want to be careful. The next one is designer fine jewelry. Yes, I'm talking about buying your diamond, your engagement ring, your wedding band from a designer fine jewelry company. We're paying for the name. The markup on jewelry is astronomical. Now I'm talking about Tiffany. I'm talking about Cartier and I'm talking about Harry Winston, the likes of. Now, Hands up, guilty, of course, I have some Cartier bracelets, but I'm talking more about a specific diamond. If you're going for your two carat diamond, if you're going, you know, these kind of, I like the design of these, so I, I it's more about the design and how they look rather than just the carat weight quality of the diamond. When you can go to your local diamond seller and you can get a quality GAA approved diamond that is absolutely probably I would say nearly half the price of your designery luxury stores so they are going to get you the best quality carrot the four c's look at the end of the day a diamond is going to go dull anyway uh, you know obviously you have to get it spruced up and dipped and all the rest went cleaned and look after it so don't go to your designer stores for a specific diamond if you're looking for a two carat or one carat go for a lab grown go for your diamond dealer for your quality and as I said it is going to be GIA approved. Do not buy designer diamonds. Don't do it. There is no need. The next thing I will want to talk about is watches. Yes, I've touched on this one before, but I think it's very important if you want your, your money to go a little bit further, you want your timepiece to last and the quality of it to last, not to get so much trouble out of it, but also that if you want to resell it, there might be some value left. So therefore I would go for the likes of buying a watch from a luxury watch house, whether it's Rolex, whether it is Raymond Veal, whether it's Patek Philippe, they have to be a renowned and good jewelry watchmaker like a Swiss company are the best. Do not buy a watch from D&G. They're not watchmakers. Don't buy a Gucci watch. They're not watchmakers. I've done that in the past. Spend my money seven, eight hundred euro on a Gucci watch when I was younger and like seriously for what? Just ridiculous. So go for a renowned watchmaker. Well made, Swiss made and if you want to resell it, you, you know, you only have to buy once. Buy well, buy once. That's kind of my motto going forward. Next one I wouldn't waste my money on are designer phone cases. I think it is just ridiculous to spend your money on a designer phone case. I have this one here, which is the OtterBox. Amazing, I have, I dropped this phone all the time and thank God I've never had a problem with it just because it's protected. The designer ones, first of all, you know, the new phone comes in, then last year's designer case doesn't fit the new size phone. You gotta get a new one. Then the process repeats itself every year because they want to keep churning out new cases. They want to grab you back in and you need to buy the new phone case. Don't do it. Buy yourself another box, they're great. And it will save your screen and insurance and all that kind of stuff. Along with that, even though I've mentioned this before, but I think it's very important to men mention again because I have got some new subscribers. Hi guys. 
Hi. Thank you for being here. And I wanted to mention, in case anybody hasn't seen my other video, which I will put up here, I put a link. Designer luggage, don't do it. Go for a quality bag. It's going to be thrown everywhere. If you've ever seen the guys at the airport, you look out and they're throwing your bags on board, not unless you're, you're flying privately, it's a different case. But also for security, you do not want your Louis Vuitton luggage, even though Louis Vuitton started off as a luggage brand. But I wouldn't be buying one of those cases for screaming that my bag is Louis Vuitton, therefore everything inside it is probably expensive. So you're attracting all the wrong types of attention. Plus these guys are gonna fling your bag all over the place and it's not gonna last very long. So I would say Ramoa or somebody like that are a great brand to go for in that scenario. The next point is, and I've done this, I have been guilty and absolutely no more. Too many designer SLGs, small leather goods. Yes, my friend, small leather goods. I've done, and you know, it's easy to do this because they're obviously less expensive and it's nice if you're in the store and you see them and there's only a couple of hundred here, 400 there, 500 there. It's not that much, but if you put all those 500s together, you could have one nice big handbag instead of all these little tiny little SLGs inside in your handbag that nobody sees. Nobody, 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 nobody ever sees them. And like, I know you like maybe using yourself. Now I have, I think up, up on three to four pieces, maybe five SLGs and I enjoy them because I kind of swap them out, but that's all I have. Don't buy any more than that. Yeah, it brings me joy. It doesn't have to be for anybody else. It brings me joy to take it out of the bag. It's like, oh, it's so cute, pretty, blah, blah, blah. But don't go buying 10, 20, you know, the next SLG that's in in a different color. There's just no point. And be careful of the material that you choose for your SLG also. I would always go with a durable, kind of like a caviar if you're buying Chanel because the lambskin is going to be rubbing off keys and things inside your handbag. And your canvas coating ones are also pretty durable. The last but not least point, and thank you for sticking in with me this long. Yeah, I had chocolate and everything today. <laughs> the last point I would say to you not to waste your money, the stupid luxury pieces that we all fall for, is designer dog accessories you know the lead and 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 the bowl and and the blanket and everything else and it all looks so beautiful in the shop and then you bring it home and your dog chews it or gets sick on it or poos on it or whatever he does you know it happens it just happens and we get carried away because we all love our pets so much i'm the same with charlie absolutely love him will not buy him anything designer i buy him new little collars all the time he's loads of beds and blankets and all the rest of it but i'm not going to buy designer gear for my dog no, 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 no. With that, and I just put the two of them together, are designer outfits for your kids, especially toddlers, because they grow so quick. It's unreal, so they're only gonna get one or two wears out of it. It can also look a little bit cheesy, so you gotta be careful, you know, head to toe in Versace or head to toe in whatever. You have to be very, very careful. Kids don't care. They're, they're expensive enough when they get to teenagers and then they want all that clubber. <laughs> they are my 10 points. I hope they've helped you out. Let me know what you can stand seeing on other people, what you think is a stupid, stupid luxury purchase or purchases that you've made in the past. And until next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.